Hi students, uh, today uh, we're going to have an experiment about the wound rotor induction motor, uh, part one. Okay, the objective of this experiment is to examine the construction of the three-phase wound rotor induction motor to understand exciting current, synchronous speed, speed, and three-phase induction motor, and to observe the effect of revolving field and rotor speed upon voltage induced in the rotor. Okay, the construction or the diagram of our uh, uh, experiment today will be posted here on the on this uh, video. So in this experiment, we'll be needing a a, a AC power supply, a three phase AC power supply. Okay, we're gonna use the fix fixed power supply, the one, two, three, all right? And we'll be needing also a three watt meter, okay? So uh, power in wattage one and wattage two, okay? And also we'll be needing also a, a current meter, okay? So AC current meter, so we'll be needing three AC current meters, okay? One, two, three. And we'll be also needing a, a three-phase wound, uh, three-phase wound rotor induction motor, okay? Uh, I think I already set it up. Okay, this one three phase wound motor induction motor. Okay, and we'll be needing also a voltage meter. Okay, a voltage meter uh, in AC format. Okay, this one AC voltmeter. Okay, we'll be needing two. All right, and in this experiment, we'll be we're going to couple it with the DC motor, and and the the, the three phase wound motor will be co coupled in the DC motor generator to couple first the, the DC motor and the three-phase one rotor. I have this uh, a timing belt so we're going to put this one in the in the DC motor and the three-phase one rotor induction motor. Okay so let's begin. So I'm gonna open this okay and open up this one okay and you can put the, the belt directly Okay, as we actually we've done this all in our during our class or laboratory experiment, make sure this will be tightly connected together. Okay, for safety purposes. All right. So next we're going so next we're going to connect the 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 wires. Okay. Okay. So one will be connected to here to the watt meter okay also two okay of the AC power supply the 415 volts AC three phase connected here also as well all right and number three will be connected from here now since we are using a since we are using a three-phase watt meter, so we're going to to use a a power cord, okay, coming from here and connected to our three-phase watt meter, okay, because uh, the, uh, this module needs a power supply, 24, 24 volts DC. All right. So next, after that, uh, from four, five, six, okay, four, five, six, I'm going to series a uh, AC meter. Okay, so I'll be going to this side. So I might need a, a shorter wire on this. So from here, three phase, okay, series. Okay, now the range we're going to use is the range we're going to use is uh, one dash uh, one, uh, zero to 1.5 AC. All right, okay. so from here. Going to connect here. Oh no. Okay. Also from here, we will connect the current. Five. Okay. Just leave it hang. Next one. Yeah. One point five. All right. Okay. Now. Now this current. 
lines will be connected to the three-phase moon rotor, or to the one, two, three. Okay. So, okay, I think we need more longer wire on this. Okay. So, 1.5 will be connected to number one. Okay. And this also 1.5 connected to number two here as well as this third current meter will be connected here okay now in the three phase one rotor okay you need to connect these three three points the four and five together okay as per the diagram all right so i'll be needing a small Here as well as okay, here. Okay, now, now as per diagram, the seven and eight, okay, the seven and eight, okay, the seven and eight will be connected to a AC voltmeter. Seven and eight here. One and put it here. All right, and also we're going to put also a power supply, or we're gonna read the power from one. All right, and number two, as per as per the diagram. Okay, All right. Make sure that you're going to use the 0 to 500 volts AC. Now for the DC motor, okay, so we need to, we need to uh, connect the 1 and 2 to the, to the 7 and N, okay, the 7 and N of the DC power supply, all right? So let's connect. So one will be connected to the to the neutral and seven will be connected to the number two. Okay. Alright. So also the, uh, the 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 eight, okay, the eight and the five should be connected to here. Alright. So longer one. One this is eight connected here, and also number five connected here. Okay, and your six and seven should be connected together you know, as per as per the diagram. Okay, so here you have it. This is the complete set of connection of your wound rotor induction motor. Keep the barrel output voltage control at zero of the DC motor. Okay, should not be turning on. So we need to put this one to zero. Okay. Uh, yeah, it should be in the zero part. So we, because we're going to check first the voltage, the voltage, the readings of each. Uh, parameters no before we couple or before, before running into the DC motor okay so let's run it so we have this currents uh, we have the currents reading here we have the voltage reading here and we have also the wattage reading there so let's record it and okay now, this is your E1 or the V1, okay? Okay, this is your E1 or V1 reading, so please take note. And also, this is your uh, V2 or E2, all right? Okay, let's go to the power. Okay, so this is your power reading. So that is your, this is your uh, power one, and this is your power two. Please take note on this. And here also, 
This is your I1. This is your I2. This is your I3. Okay? Got it? Okay. After we connect, I will get the readings. Okay? So, you need to calculate the apparent power, the active power, the power factor, and the reactive power. Okay? Using those uh, parameters. Now, we're going to turn on the power supply and adjust the variable DC output voltage. Okay? Just the uh, variable DC output voltage at exactly 750 uh, RPM. Okay? So, we need to record the, 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 the speed. Okay, we need to record the speed up to uh, 750 RPM. Okay, we need to increase a little bit. Okay, I, th I think it's already 750. Okay? It's about 757 RPM. Okay? Alright. Now, record the, the V1, the V2, and the currents. Okay? So let's record it. Okay? So please record it. The, v, the, the, the E1. Okay? This is your E1. This is your... E2. Okay? And this is your I1, I2, and I3. Okay? And this is your power. Okay? P1, P2. So, we're going to adjust Okay, by the way, our DC voltage is 271 input of the DC motor. Okay? So take note on that. And about speed of uh, 750 RPM. Change the field rheostat going to the zero, to the minimum. Will decrease. Okay? If you increase it, it will also increase the the speed. Okay? Alright, so there you have it. This is your uh, three-phase wound rotor induction motor. Uh, uh, let, let us try to get the, the speed by changing the real stop. Okay? Changing the real stop. Uh, well, if the real stop is at the middle okay, of the DC motor, so the, the RPM about 703 okay 703 703 rpm okay and if you're going to put this into zero okay 703 and the voltage is about uh, 300 volts ac okay the voltage coming from coming from the three phase one rotor no? On the rotor. Voltage of the rotor. Okay? And the speed is about 700 RPM. Now, if we're going to put in the minimum. Okay? Let us get the speed. The speed is about 559 RPM. 
and the voltage is about 290 290 volts AC okay and if you put it in the maximum field rheostat okay the maximum let's get the speed okay the speed is about 846 RPM 846 and the voltage here is about 325 volts AC okay 325 volts AC okay please take note on that oh take note all the speed and the voltages okay this voltage is coming from the rotor and the speed is coming from the DC generator okay got it all right okay that's it for for the first experiment